Hello everyone, this is Valhalla Gaming TV and this is the channel that plays everything so you don't have to. Today we are back again with Botany Manor and this is part 4. If you haven't seen the previous parts, I'll leave the playlist up top on the right. Go ahead and click that to catch up and let's get back into it. Okay, now we got the door open. So let's go up there and see what's in that door. Get some more information. Oh wow. Look, it's got a little nook over here. I'm sitting on this one. That looks nice. Also, if you guys needed, uh, if you're following along with me, if you want an achievement, you just sit in one of these chairs for a minute and it'll give you one. Just in case you didn't notice. The Trapped Fairy. That's a cool painting. Let's see what else we got here. Letters about weeds. 10th of August, dearest Arabella, I was taking a walk along a river in Somerset recently and noticed a sight that I just had to write you about. In the water, I saw the brook chalice blooming. I've never seen or heard of its flowering before, and none of my books mentioned it. It was so beautiful. Do you have any idea what would have caused this? Ever your friend, Edith. So she was walking along a river in Somerset recently and noticed a sight. And in the water, the brook chalice was blooming. Is that one of the flowers? Yeah. Okay, so it's got to be in the water. The attic is closed. That's where one of the other seas is. Okay. Oh, cradle fern. Oh, it has eggs in it. Interesting. Might have to remember those. So it holds eggs, I wonder. Which, one, which other one did I have? Plant Nightfall. Okay, we got Nightfall, but I don't know how to do that one yet. Let's look around real quick. Um, Cradle Fern. Fern Painting. And what about Nightfall? Sunset Paintings. Grandma's Research. And then we got the Cradle Fern for Bird Eggs. And a Letter About Weeds. I don't exactly remember that one. The fairy painting. Let's look at the fairy painting real quick. What's this show? Looks like it's night. So maybe... Fairy painting will be for this one. And the letter about weeds. Probably the chalice. I think it's the one that did the flower. Oh, not flower, but the water. Yeah. Okay. I think we got the clues right now. Any other paintings to look at? Let's see anything in here. Ooh, we got a room. What do we got? Aquatic weed. Clark aquatic weed removal. Do you have a pond? Do you want to swim in it? Is it covered in slimy weeds? We are specialized in removing the following weeds. Algae, Himalayan bal uh, balsam, uh, brook chalice, and duckweed. Make an appointment today. Clark & Co. Certified Weed Removal and Agriculture Service. Okay. Yuiville. I would imagine that's another one. So we got a, ourselves a weed. And what is this? The Cradle Fern. So the last seed must be in the attic. And... Petition. Somerset Society for Wildlife Protection offers a petition to be present or presented to the Honorable House of Common. In recent years, hunts have been taking place near the Somerset River. Tragically, this has led to the decline and even extinction of some bird species. No longer can we hear the beautiful chimes like calls. We call upon the government to regulate hunting near the river of Somerset. We ask that they respect the breeding times of wildlife. If you agree, please sign below and return this letter to us. No expense attends signing. Um, your signature, sign Arabella Green. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a cool signature. You even got it in green. Yep, definitely protect the animals, you know? Hunting is, uh, definitely necessary. But, uh, we shouldn't make them go to an extinction. Let's see what we got here. The Trapped Fairy, a folktale, written and illustrated by J.R.R. Kelly, Gripple Gate Publishing. So that was a picture in the hallway about that. Once upon a time, there was a little fairy who loved gazing at her own reflection in the water. She lost track of time and the day turned into night. Nynx, goddess of night, 
Notice the little fairy, the moon was shining bright, but the fairy only had eyes for herself. Nyx took offense and decided to punish the little fairy. He placed the fairy into a nightfall and cast a spell on her. The little fairy fell in love with the moon and gazed upon the sky all night. Later when the sun came up, the spell broke, just as the fairy woke up from her enchantment. The nightfall bud closed and trapped the fairy for eternity. Okay. I would imagine that's a hint for nightfall. Fairy story. Let's keep looking. My dear Nova, never forgotten. Ah, oh, it's a kitty. Nice. Let's see. Letter from Eliza. Dearest friend, it seems our interest in visiting the private plant collection of Lord Spencer has gone unacknowledged. While disappointing, I am not sure it is worth pursuing scientific study in such places. On my recent visit to Brinsby, the young man showing us around had barely a basic knowledge of plants, and due to there being a large group of gentlemen in the party, all useful time and erudition was devoted to them and none given to the Constance and I. Uh, let us plan another trip of our own and perhaps we can see the specimens in their natural home habitats where they belong. Ever your faithful friend, Eliza. Not getting the attention they're looking for. What's this? Essence of Arnic flower. For sprains, strains, and joint pains. Tincture of red clover. Chamomile and red clover seems to soothe hot flushes. The botany is important, man. You get a bunch of medicines to help people. Ooh, we got a bathroom. Look at this bad boy. Man, she had hot water and everything. Oh, well, the pipe looks like it's all messed up, but... Let's see. Bath geyser manual. A hot bath at the turn of a tap. The N30 bath geyser provides a rapid flow of hot water. Simply turn the tap and instantly hot water will appear. Can be used multiple times in a row without extra, any extra cost. Uh, let's see. Nice. She got her own freaking thing. And we got pipes all over the place, so we're going to have to fix this, it looks like. Let's see. We got a curved pipe. We got a T-pipe. Where's this bad boy going? Probably right here. And then a curved pipe right there. Another one. Got this curved pipe. Right there. Two more. Perfect. I'm a plumber. Boom. Achievement unlocked. Who needs a plumber when I'm a plumber? Let's see. Wilson Plumbers for all plumbing and water system needs. Lady Arabella Green, 15th of May, 1890. Installation of disconnect pipes, total 14 shillings. Dear Arabella, here is our quote to fix the pipes of the geyser in your bathroom. Cost might seem high, but trust us, it's a complex job best left to professionals. Have a nice day, Frederick. Yeah. Yeah, I got that done. It's all good. Oh, we're going to put the plants in the water. It must be the weed that we need to put in there. Flush toilet. Achievement. Clean and tidy. Flush the toilet. Okay, before we do this. Oh, it looks like it's a temperature too. What temperature do we need? I don't think we have that information yet. So I know it's going to be the... Not the nightfall. It's going to be the cradle. No, it's going to be the brook chalice. And... What's the petition one? Let's see. That was to stop hunting, right? Petition. Somerset River is typically the lead in decline and extinction of some bird species. Okay, so I would imagine that goes for this one too. Somerset Rivers. What's in here? Nice chair. And that thing looks comfy. Letter from Montagu. Uh, Dear Lady Arabella, I wanted to thank you once again for your invaluable contributions during our recent meadow orchard research expedition. Your keen observations and deep knowledge of orchards was so helpful. Your dedication to the field is an inspiration to us all. 
I look forward to future collaborations and the continued exploration of the botanical wonders that surround us. I will put in a good word for you with Botanical Society. Warmest regards, Professor Montague. And we got a key for the attic. Yeah. Somerset River Trust. Seasonal newsletter, April 1890. Summer, uh, Somerset Shire. River swimming this season. Dear members, we want to make sure you can all enjoy swimming this summer, so we have cleared the most popular rivers in Somerset of all aquatic weeds. The River Cam, the River Chew, and the River Somer uh, have all been cleared of weeds thanks to the service of Clark's aquatic weed removal. Uh, thank you for your continued support. Thanks for the monthly donations. The rivers of Somerset are clean and weed-free. So Somerset Rivers. We're going to go with that one. Bath Geyser. River Trust. What's this one? Official Government Health and Safety Warning. Uh, 1890, August 8th. It has been brought to our attention that the factory of Barton Ironworks has been illegally dumping scrap metal in rivers across Somerset. These rivers are now pulled with, polluted with rust, making them unsafe for swimming. Do not swim in the following rivers. River Cam, River Sama, River Chu. The river from was also affected by waste. Though oddly, the river is completely clear of rust pollution. We are still researching what led the, to that effect. The river from was also affected by the waste, but oddly, the river is completely clear of pollution. The mayor of Somerset. So, may, and that must be where the weeds are. Um, I don't think we have all the right ones in here. We'll have to check in a bit. So, the river from, let's remember that, and maybe we know the temperature. Ah, here we go. River from, average temperature, 25 degrees Celsius. That's going to be the one. So, let's go and put the plants in there real quick. And maybe the petition now? River poster. Yeah, there we go. Okay. 25 degrees. Uh, let's go grab our plants. Where is it? The cradle fern, nightfall, sapphire, gloom. Oh, we don't got it yet. We got to go to the attic. Let's go to the attic and unlock it. There we go. Let's go get our seed. Ooh, moths. Okay, before we look at any of that stuff, let's go find our seed real quick. Wow, this is cool. Where's the seed at? Here it is. I will... Okay, Brook Chalice. I will return here. Once I grow my seed in a duck. A mallard. Okay. We got the mallard. Let's go back down. We got a whole attic to look through. Now we got a plant. The brook chalice. That's the one, right? That is the one. Let's water it. And then the brook chalice wants to get in some warm 25 degrees Celsius water. Actually, I don't even know if that's warm. <laughs> I'm a Fahrenheit guy, okay? Let's see. This doesn't look like it's too long. 25 degrees. Fill the bath. Come on, Brook Chalice, grow. Not going. Okay, drain it. Okay, we got the wrong. We got the wrong river. Which river is it? They enjoy... Okay, they got rid of all the weeds. And then the polluted ones. Do not swim in River Cam, River Sama, River Chu. The river from was also affected by the waste, though oddly the river is completely clear of rust pollution. Isn't that the one we looked at? Or am I wrong on that? Dearest Arabella, I was writing to share with you exciting discovery I made in the, my botanical studies. Turns out that some plants are particularly sensitive to sound and seem to thrive when exposed to music or melodies from their natural environment. I hope to share more of my findings with you in the near future and would be delighted if you could join me in my research. Your sincere friend, Marianne. Okay. Um... 
River Sommer, Cam, Brute. Hmm. Research expeditions. Let's see what else we got. What information did I miss? That was the petition. A folk tale. Young man. Okay. Let's go over here real quick. We got that. Plumbing service. None of those are the ones. The trapped fairy. Uh, maybe this. Pool swims. Let's see. Weed removal. It's gotta be that one. Clearly it ain't. Average temperature, 25 degrees. Three bridges. It shows bridges. There's something I'm missing here. Clearly, but... Whoa, what's this? We got bells up here. This must be the... Oh, yeah, we gotta play music. For bird calls. Ah, okay, so the birds got... Um, they were over hunted, and so whatever flower is out there needs that the music to play. Okay. Play it yourself, home, piano, forte collection, bird calls. And we gotta do the right bird. That's pretty cool. We still gotta figure out what the temperature is supposed to be. Cradle fern. A fairy. Somerset recently noticed a site. A brook chalice is bloom blooming. So Somerset. Unlocked. Okay. Let's see if there's a Somerset River then. Oh, these are all the rivers. Mother truck. And it also says length. Okay, let's go look around for more clues before we go and do that. Let's go into the... Attic. We've already been in here. Let's go into the uh, the actual attic, not the bell tower. See what we got in here. Okay, we got a moth spawning calendar. Pretty cool. And we got all different moths. And oh, and okay. I mean, bird hawk. There's a bunch of moths. And here they are. Wonder what we're gonna need those for. Let's see what's up here. What's this for? Rusty pig. Baron ironworks. The site of plants. Some scientists have theorized that plants have photoreceptors in their leaves and stems, which allows them to see the color of light. This means that flowers can tell the time of day and know when to open or close their buds. The exact time that flowers bloom is different for each flower, but most do appear to respond to light and the color of light in some way. Horticulturist and a botanist have made use of this knowledge to trick difficult flowers into blooming at any time they like. That's pretty cool. Gotta confuse them. What do we got here? Oh, we gotta get different colors. So we're gonna have to use that maybe on the night one. What do we got here? Dinner invitation, March 1863, Green Bay Hall. My dear niece, I fear the window may be closing for you to find a suitable husband. I have arranged a dinner for you to meet my neighbor's son, Edward. He is successful in business in London. Your cousins, William and Thomas, may well aspire to become accomplished scientists, but for you, Arabella, it is better to make yourself useful in the small duties of life for which you will be loved and appreciated. Your studious nature will no doubt be valuable should you have a son but it would be foolish to allow such a folly to come before the important things in life. I am confident this is what your parents would have wanted. Dinner will be from five o'clock on Sunday. Remember to wear a becoming dress. Yours very sincerely, Aunt Agnes. You know, the aunt's not wrong, but 
making a choice on what you want to do. You got to understand the consequences of it. You want to focus your life on a career or something like that? Go for it. But you might have a hard time having a family. But if you want to be the stay-at-home person, that's cool too. The Botanist Digest. The Botanist Digest, a monthly journal of, bot of botanical news. Uh, see, this month, in conversation with Professor Monta Gu, leading expert in British meadow orchards. In his words, every plant, every leaf, and every meadow holds secrets waiting to be unlocked by... My aim is simply to uncover some of those mysteries. Professor John Montagu, renowned botanist, sheds light on his groundbreaking work in the world of meadow orchards and other botanical wonders. With decades of research and numerous publications to his name, Professor Montagu's contributions to the field have been nothing short of revolutionary, including discoveries of a new species such as the Dactylorhiza, a Montagu, or Hood Marsh Orchid. That one sounds easier. Okay. Okay, let's look at that river thing one more time. This has got to be that, that river that I was saying, the farm one. It says 25 degrees Celsius. Is there anything I was missing? That's that. Let's see. Where, which one was it that said that? It wasn't that one. I think it's in here. Nope. Was it this one? Nope, not that one. Okay, it was this one. The river Froms is also affected by the waste, though oddly the river is completely clear of rust pollution. We are still researching what led to that effect. Okay. Huh. So it was affected by it, but it was clear. Okay, so maybe... Oh. Alright, maybe we did choose the right one. Nor uh, 25 degrees Celsius. What about that pig? Not this way. It's not that way either. It's... No, it was that way. Mother truck. Up into the attic. And the pig. Rusty pig. Maybe I gotta put the pig in the water. Because it had rust. Let's go over here and check. So, if I put the pig in there... 25 degrees Celsius. Will it grow now? Come on, Brooke Chalice. Yeah, look at that. We got growth. Oh, that's awesome. It likes rest. How am I supposed to pick that up? My friend wrote to me about the Brook Chalice. 30. Yeah, we got it. Grow the Brook Chalice. The Brook Chalice prefers to grow in rivers with a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. We got that. The plant naturally filters the water from rust and metal. Unfortunately, they get removed often as most people prefer their ponds to be weed free. Huh. Oh, and I can pick it up. Nice. Let's go put it in the, the plant room. All right. Oh, we got the mushroom over here too. So let's go put this one in the plant room. And we got a spot right there. Let's go grab that mushroom, too. I'm here, Mr. Mushroom. Sapphire Gloom. And boom. We got like five more plants to do, it looks like. Alright, let's head back up. Okay, we're back up here. Let's see. We have... We got all the clues? Looks like we have all the clues. Oh, I think we got two plants left here. So the cradle fern. Does it need moss? I know it needs the eggs. The bird calls. Oh. Okay. Letter about melodies. Off calendar sites of plants. Fishing. Hmm. I'd imagine it has a specific type of bird. I don't think that's all right, though. Oh, we got two fern painting paintings, that's why. There we go, that is right. So we need a specific uh, egg. So which bird? We got the fern, but we got the pitcher right there, too. Maybe that's the type of egg we need. Where were those eggs? 
I think they were back here somewhere. This, oh, there we go. Which egg was it? This one. Crested owl egg. Okay. Crested owl egg. That's the one we need. Let's start the seed. Uh, over here. Crested owl egg. Then I think we gotta play the song for it. Where you at? Cradle for it. Water. Okay. And up here into the bell tower. I think it needs a certain song. What do we got here? Crested Owl. So we got... Okay, let me write this down. Okay. We got it written down. Let's see if this works. It's gonna be E first. And then we got C. D. We got E. G. F. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's awesome. They did a really good job on this game. Achievement unlocked, Cradle Fern. Grow the Cradle Fern. The Cradle Fern is used by the Crested Owl as a nest and it turned the plant has grown dependent on the owl's chime like call to grow. That's cool. Okay, let's put this one down in the plant room. All right, and we got a nice little spot for it. We'll put it right here. That looks good. Four more plants. Look at all these things. Nice. Okay, let's make sure we have all the... the clues for the night one. Add clue. Got the moths. Moth calendar. Sight of plants. And moth poster. Okay, so... We gotta figure out what's going where. I know we have those night paintings that the grandma was doing in her vault. But we gotta figure out what goes with what for that plant. Like, which one is it? Nightfall progress. 1830 to 1831. This is, uh... Okay, let's see. Is there a month? Task for this month, monitor Nightfall Seedling. And research notes, I've been trying to encourage Nightfall Bloom for a little while now. Determined to prove more just a myth. Exactly occurs a mystery. Okay, so that's not helping. How about this one? One in record. Let's find the, uh, the notes for this. Sunset paintings, grandma's research, fairy painting, fairy story. Let's go look at the fairy story and the painting. We gotta get all the information in the right spot. Not here. We're in the wrong way. Go through this way. And through here. So the fairy painting should be right here. Uh, fairy trapped... The trapped fairy. Okay. So it's at night. That didn't have a year or anything. And then we had that, um, the tail of the fairy, right here, folk tail. Once upon a time, the fairy's little love gazing reflection in the water. She lost track of time and the day turned into night. Goddess of the night noticed the little fairy, the moon shining bright. The fairy only had eyes for herself. Placed the fairy in a nightfall. He's upon the sky all night. Later, when the sun came up, the spell broke. Just as the fairy woke up, the enchantment nightfall bud closed and trapped. Okay, so just as the fairy woke up from her enchantment, the nightfall bud closed and trapped the fairy for eternity. Huh. But when the sun comes up. Okay, what other ones do we have? Trapped moths, sight of plants. Let's go look at the moth thing. How's the moth thing tie into it? I think we need to change the light on that camera up top. Flowers growing. Uh, Guardian Curiosity's trap moth. Sometimes a moth can become trapped inside a flower bud if it closes in the morning. Ooh. Okay. 
So the moth is the fairy. So the moth is then forced to use the bud as a resting place until it opens again later. Some flowers only bloom short periods during the year. So if the moth is unlucky, the flower bud won't open again until many months later. So which moth? Hummingbird, elephant, mint, angel, six burnt, garden tiger, well, ant moth. I don't see anything that says like a fairy or anything like that. I'm trying to see if there's any uh, any of the words that go with it. Okay, and then we also had something else. The moth poster, sight of plants. What one was sight of plants? Let's trap moths. Let's go up top. Sight of plants. Some scientists have theorized that plants have photoreceptors in their leaves and allow them to see colors of the light. This means that flowers can't tell the time of day and know when to open or close their buds. The exact time that flower blooms is different for each flower. Most do appear to respond to light and the color of light in some way. Okay. So we gotta use one of these. Yellow, orange. I'd imagine like this blue one or something. Is it? Oh. Interesting. Okay, so maybe it's... It has to go in... It has to go from night to day, right? So it would be like red... Orange... Blue? Or yellow? So blue, red, orange? Yellow? Let's go get the plant real quick. Let's play around with it. So let's go get this night plant. Soil. Nightfall. Water it up. Okay. Go up top. Put it in front of this. Let's see if this does anything. Nope. Okay, we gotta figure out what colors are gonna go in what order. And I'm, I have a feeling those paintings are what is gonna matter. And they had dates, but these have dates too, let's see. May. So we gotta figure out which moth. Because then this is gonna tell the... the month. I mean, birds, six spot, brunette. Which one is it? The moths then force the flower. Okay. Is there anything that says what moth it is? Trap the moth. Oh, okay. Look at her wings. She's got red and brown. Is there any moth that looks like that? Red with, and brown with spots? Like that. That right there. Garden tiger moth. Look at that. Oh, it matches. Okay, we're making something here. So, garden tiger moth. Let's see which one that is. September. Alright. September. Now let's go back to the grandma's vault. And look at the paintings. Which were in here. September. Let's see. July, May, May, October, April, June, September. So we got. Okay, let me write this down. Okay, all written down. We got the colors. Let's get over there. Gotta get back to the attic. It's exciting. We're making progress. And go up to the top. Here we go. Now we need blue. Thought I was right on that. Yellow. Orange. Red. Man, I was I was close. I had the yellow out of place, I guess. Alright, let's try. Come on, nightfall. Oh yeah, look at that.
That's a cool looking plant. That's a really cool looking plant. Achievement! Nightfall, we grew it. That's the prettiest one yet. Seeing the nightfall bloom is a rare event. The flower only blooms with September sunset. Uh, night pollinators active in September, such as the garden tiger, often get trapped once the bud closes for the rest of the year. That would suck. Okay, let's take it to the old plant room. We got a gatehouse delivery. Yeah. Okay, we're in the plant room. Let's place this bad boy. And let's head to the gatehouse. Okay, we reached the gatehouse. And we got another key. The formal garden. Alright. Hey everyone, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. On the bottom of the screen, if you like, comment, share, subscribe, you can support the channel. Also, check out the videos above. That'll take you to more content from Valhalla Gaming TV. Thanks again. Later.